Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. I know, I, I, just, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> Welcome back to Royal Boobs. Welcome back to it. You've been calling it Royal Boobs for this yeah, whole dog. session today. Have I? Yeah. Yeah, dog. Yeah, we're still in the same. Free uh, the nip, bro. Okay, this is. Free the nip, bro. I wonder how, how that's been going recently. Free the nip. People trying to feel free the female nip. Okay, okay. I, no, I'm trying to free the male nip. Oh, are you? Yeah. You, you know us males. We've been so oppressed for yeah. all of throughout all of time. Never yeah. able to let our nipples shine. Yeah. Show freely. Yeah, yeah. It's summertime. I take my shirt off. No one looks at me, okay? <laughs> I want them to be like, oh my god, Cletus, those are some bazongas. Um, what I was going to talk about last episode was... Uh, we were talking about the Impossible Burger for context. Yeah, yeah I... I, I I don't know the science behind Ooh. anything, but uh... Behind anything? <laughs> fucking magnets, how do they work? <laughs> I, I don't know anything about the science of, uh, like, the beef industry or, yeah. like, what's it called? The burger industry or what? I, I've heard that, like... Cat ranch? It's responsible for a big part of, like, global warming. Is that true? Like, doesn't it create a lot of greenhouse gases? Uh, yeah, I, I don't have the numbers on me. It, it does account for a lot, but it doesn't account for as much as people think it does. Really? Yes. People are like, it's huge! And it's big, but it's not, like, fucking ginormous. I, uh, a part of me feels like, uh, a part of me doesn't Cars know. are, like, way bigger Okay. than me. People, I mean, yes, I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't affect, it does. You'd make a huge effect if you, like, stopped eating red meat. Um, but not, not enough of, like, what people are projecting of, like, you need to cut down on all this, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that's one thing that's just been on my mind recently. Like, yeah. I, I, it, it's kind of a depressing subject, so I guess I don't want to go into it too much because I'd rather oh, okay. I, I'd rather Royal Goobs, Goobs be like, all, yay, happy! At least, like, 90% of the time. Toads, dog. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I, I will say this, um, and, and I'm, like, whatever, I, I think it's appropriate to say. There's this podcast I used to listen to all the time. Um, yes. And, you know, that. They start getting really political on the podcast mm -hmm. recently, and they're saying like, oh, like normally the podcast was goofy and stuff, and then they got really political recently. And um, you want, do you not want to say what the show is called? No, no, I, I don't want to talk. I don't, I don't want to give that away. But okay. Um, and I used to listen to it all the time. Like it's a bigger podcast, and I was like, cool, I listen to this because it's goofy. But um, then they start talking politics, and like, I totally disagree with almost all this dude's politics. And so, like, I'm okay with it for, like, an episode or two, but now it's, like, every single episode. So I unsubscribed and I stopped listening and stuff. And, like, people were hating on it. Like, dude, like, why are you talking about politics? And he just said, like, well, I can't pretend it doesn't affect my life. And I'm just like, okay, I get that. But at the same time, like, dude, people aren't listening to you for your politics. They're listening to you because you're, like, a goofy person just goofing around. Um, so... Yeah, dude. In in my opinion, it's good to have like some things that are like totally separate from politics. Yeah, I mean, so, sometimes at the end of the day, you just want to. I don't know if I've ever been here before. So sometimes at the end of the day, you just don't want to hear something incredibly serious. Sometimes you just want yeah. something. And every single thing like in life is so nuanced. You know, when someone like gives you a bunch of facts. You could go and find facts that are sometimes contrary. So, like, yeah, yeah. what I'm saying is everyone disagrees, and I don't think that makes people evil if they disagree or, like, have different opinions than you. No, so, absolutely not. Like, if I were here going <sighs> to say, like, uh, me? I don't know, <laughs> watch out for purple vests, and then someone's like, fuck you, Cletus, purple vests are okay, and I'd be like, fuck you, and you'd just be pissing someone off. Um, or instead, we could just look at berries. I mean, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, there are times where it's like, yeah, it's okay for us to talk about serious stuff on Royal Goobs, but totally. I, I don't want to do what that show you're talking about does yeah. and, like, make it, like, yeah. the whole thing. Well, I remember you and I talked about this off, because, like, there, when we were playing Spyro and a couple other things, I think I brought up, like, SJWs, and I was just like, after the fact, I'm like, yeah, you know, I really don't need to be bitching about that. So, uh, yep. So I just don't really anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the story. Yeah, baby. The end. Happily ever after. So what is this berry, by the way? This is uh, a plum. Oh. 
Oh, wait, sorry. I, I do have, to go back to the original topic though, I do have a question. So you would eat more of the Impossible Burger? Uh, yeah, I would. I, I, I would eat that instead. If it means, like, possibly cutting down on greenhouse gas. Yeah. Cause, cause that, that's something that's been on my the back of my mind recently. Uh, sure. And I, it's just like, uh, we're not doing shit. We're, like, not yeah. doing anything. To yeah. Get, like, there are people who are trying to, like, fight for cleaner energy mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, all that jazz. But I feel yeah. like not enough people are. And, yeah. and, and that includes me. Like, I'm not doing shit to try and help the environment. Sure. So, so like, little things like eating a, 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 something made of plants instead of meat. Yeah. That tastes like meat, even though it's not really meat. That That's, like, one little thing I feel like I can do. Totally, dude. Do yeah, I want to try them. Not necessarily for, like, the political reasons. I'm just curious <laughs> on the taste. <laughs> okay, here's a, okay, here's a warning, though. If you yeah. go to get an Impossible Burger, uh -huh. you, whenever you get a burger, you get it with cheese, right? Yes, always. Okay, make sure you have to always say to add cheese, because oh. by default, it doesn't come with cheese. Oh. And, oh. I, and I was so disappointed the first time. I was Black. like, no! Oh, so you've had it multiple times. Yeah, I, I've had it a few times. Okay. I had it once at work. Jen, you've had an Impossible Burger, right? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just waiting for McDonald's to start selling. Oh, to start God. selling Impossible Burgers. I don't know. I fucking love McDoubles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could ever like replace it. Like maybe you know swap it out every once in a blue moon. But dog, come on, come on, bro. Come on, come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Okay, well, cool. Good. Good to hear more reviews on that. I want to taste one. Film it. I'll Film puke. It. My body can't handle anything this healthy. <laughs> <laughs> they actually did that in South Park. The The most recent episode was about Impossible Burgers. Oh, it was? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. It's too healthy. <laughs> uh, no, it was, it was actually talking about how it's not that... Like, it was a joke. I, he's just, like, talking about... He's talking to a guy who makes the plant-based product, and he's like, how do you make it? In a factory, we turn the plant into goo. I'm actually a goo man, and... And then Cartman's like, I wish, man, because I thought it was healthy, but now I know it's just goo from a factory, too. <laughs> He's like, mm. so now I don't care. Because <laughs> he likes to eat unhealthy things. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Oh, I mean, geez. it, it oh, was just poking fun, but... Yep. I was, I, I, you know, I, I was waiting a really long time. I was wondering if South Park would ever do an episode on bronies. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised they haven't at some point. Me too. But yeah, I, I get the feeling maybe Matt and Trey are like, oh, who gives a shit? Making a whole, Probably. Making a whole episode I, on bronies. Is yeah. Like, why, why do that when we can just make another episode on Mormons? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They, they, they've been doing a lot of like current political stuff ever since the 2016 election as well. Hmm. I, why not sleep on a post? That's far away. Shoot, make a move. <laughs> Dude, the camera's like, this way, that way, this way, that way. That way, this way, that way. You could go with this, or you could go with that, or you could go with that, or you could go with that. Dude, has South Park been good lately? Because I haven't watched it in so long. I don't think it's as good as it used to be. This season has been okay. Uh, the problem is, to me, all of the episodes, like, the season is themed now, right? Oh, okay. So there's always a story like behind all of the episodes in a season which i don't like nearly as much as how it used to be where like each episode was a one-off right yeah 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 yeah. um so i don't know i'm not a fan of that because then sometimes you'll have really funny one-off episodes whereas like um two seasons ago it was all about pc principle and like pc culture right <laughs> I, I heard that was a fun one uh, yeah, yeah, it was fun, but at the same time, like, I'd rather just have, like, an episode or two episodes on the PC principle or something, mm. not, like, the whole, because now they have to make every episode fit into the same narrative. Really? Yeah. Huh. Or it's, like, this season is about Tegrity Farms, how Stan Marsh owns a weed farm, and his, <laughs> it, like, inner dealings with everyone. Stan Marsh? You, you mean Randy Marsh? Oh, yeah. Wait. Yes. Yeah, Randy Randy's Marsh. the dad. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. Dude, uh, I watched on, like, I didn't seek it out, but my niece and nephew were watching a movie. Shoot, what was it? It's a Pixar movie. Oh, okay. I, I, let, let's, let me see if I can guess it, okay? This the is, Yellow Dudes. Yellow Dudes. Wait, oh, Despicable Minions? Despicable Me 2. 3? What's the newest one? Despicable Me 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that Pixar. <laughs> you got not my, Pixar. You got my hopes up. I was oh. like, "Ooh, Pixar! Yeah." Oh. That's not Pixar. <laughs> nope, that's Illumination. Okay. Well, uh, might be. And um, 
You know the the bad. Did you see that movie? Yeah, I've seen all the Despicable Me's. You know the bad guy. The one who's voiced by uh, one, yes, of, one of the Sam South Park guys. Yeah. He was the or best. Randy Marsh. Sorry. Yes. I, yeah. I, I don't I know which one it is. I couldn't hear it. <laughs> Once I figured I've been it out. a bad boy. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> Once I, wonder, I heard it, I was like, I can't unhear it, dude. I know, it's like, oh, look, it's Randy Marsh. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. He he was actually, like, um even aside from having one of the South Park dudes voice him, I yeah. I gotta say, he he was probably the most fun part of the movie. Isn't that uh, Matt Stone or Trey Parker? One, one or the other, yeah. yeah. And, uh... <laughs> I've been a bad boy. <laughs> I just I just love the way he just moonwalks up the yeah. side of the boat at the beginning. Yeah, dude. He, he was a great character. I, yeah. The, I, I have, that was my least favorite Despicable Me movie. Oh, and I, I, I didn't I, see the second one. This I think the second one might be my favorite. Mm -hmm. The second one was pretty good, I think. Uh, second one came out when I was working at a theater. So I was like, oh my god. Every time I had to clean the theater after that, it was just like children. Like, you know, little kids, and they make such a mess. You worked at the theater too, didn't you? Yeah, at the same time as you, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um... Did you ever have to clean, or were you only on concessions? I, I was only around concessions, luckily. Oh, okay. that, that was a very short lived job. Oh, dude, I was on concessions at first, and one day they put me on like the janitorial crew, and I told them, I'm like, dude, I know that like normally you'll put certain people on concessions, and if they're okay, like you'll stick them there, but I really like the janitorial crew. And they're like, all right, no one else really likes it, so sure. <laughs> so after that, all I did was like clean theaters. I oh, like that way more. Because you don't have to deal with people. <laughs> exactly, yeah. That's why I fucking hate concessions. Everyone's such a prick. <laughs> Dude, the first night I was working at a theater. Uh, I'll tell this story next time on Royal Boobs. Okay. Boobs. Boobs. Royal Boobs. We're the Royal Goobs, you idiot. Boobs. <laughs> I can't find the mouse. <laughs>